Hi, I'm Adam from Young Screenwriters. We're a resource and community for up-and-coming screenwriters, and today we're going to talk about the emotional journey of Hayao Miyazaki's 2002 masterpiece, Spirited Away. Specifically, how Miyazaki creates meaning, empathy, and catharsis by focusing on the protagonist Shihiro's character arc, establishing her dramatic flaw in Act 1, and how her struggles slowly force her to overcome this flaw by embracing her inner need in Act 3. In the opening image of the film, we meet Chihiro in the back of her family's car. She's bored, depressed, and she dreads her family's move to a new city, new school, and a new world. She holds on to her flowers given to her as a goodbye present from her old friends from home she's saying goodbye to. Chihiro is afraid of change, and she's afraid of the unknown. This is her dramatic flaw. And establishing this early is key to giving the audience a clear sense of who she is and what she cares about and what her problems are. As her family stops to explore the old abandoned amusement park near their new home, Chihiro begs her parents to hurry up, and specifically, she's afraid to go deeper into the park because she feels something's wrong. When Chihiro's parents finally fall for Yubaba's spell and turn into pigs, the inciting incident that kicks off the story, this forces Chihiro into action. This new world and the new town that Chihiro dreads becomes even darker and more sinister. When Chihiro enters the world of the spirit bathhouse to save her parents in Act 2, she cries herself to sleep, and the strange faces and the people that loom with menace and real danger, it's almost as if Chihiro's fears about moving to a new town, her fears of the unknown, have manifested into real horrors. As if her fears are justified, there is something to be afraid of. And this is certainly no place for humans. The only moments of bravery at this point comes from her mentor, Haku. The mentor is the character in the story who holds the protagonist's inner need and nudges them in the right direction. And Haku tells Chihiro to not be afraid, and that she can save her parents if she gets a job in the bathhouse working for the mysterious Yubaba. If Chihiro's inner need is to overcome her dread of the unknown and to face it with confidence, Haku nudges Chihiro in the right direction as her mentor. At first, while Chihiro struggles with the strange sights, faces, names, and rules of the bathhouse, she slowly starts to prove herself. When she overcomes the sludge demon, who is just a sick water spirit, when she saves the menacing and dangerous No-Face from his own destructive appetites, and when she saves Haku from Yubaba's spell, she slowly begins to see the giant unknowable forces that she cowered from in fear in Act 1, and she learns that there's nothing to be afraid of, that she could master any world once she understands it. Once you understand why a great and terrible enemy suffers, that enemy may one day become a friend. The dangerous Yubaba who cursed Chihiro's parents and trapped her in servitude could really just be a struggling single mother who's managing a successful business. A dangerous creature could just be sick and in need of balance. And an enemy could be a friend once you understand them. In the final moments of Spirited Away, once Shihiro has finally saved her parents, found her freedom, and mastered the previously unknown world, all the dark, foreboding creatures and spirits who frightened and antagonized her in the beginning, they all cheer her name, and they celebrate her success as a friend. Shihiro has earned the respect and friendship of the unknown she feared. Shihiro's inner need of confidence and bravery is earned and proven in the end. Her flaw isn't just randomly fixed by her inner need, it's earned by the journey she takes. The final shot of Spirited Away shows Chihiro return to her car with her parents transformed. Where she was once timid and afraid of the unknown world that lies ahead of her, she's now a master of the unknown, ready for an uncertain future. She knows she can master anything once she takes the time to understand it. This is the journey she took to overcome her flaw and embrace her inner need. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about storytelling and screenwriting, please check out one of our free courses with NYU screenwriting professor John Warren in the link below.